Hello guys, welcome back. This is Player, and today I'm going to do a wrestling video. And yeah, after watching Mr. Ethos idea on a digital clock, um, actually not very digital, but um, it count is a counter, and goes from one to nine, and then the next level would be starting from ten, twenty, thirty, forty. That indicates um, the counter. Okay, so if I press this button, it will become one, and then. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and after nine, this row will clutch clear up to make it become zero, and the next level will become one to indicate ten. Here you go, and uh, yeah, it's actually pretty simple, and it works. Well, now now this would actually just indicate until 99. If both rows fill up, it will become 99. And then you can just add another thing to indicate that's 100. Anyway, so um, you can just do it well like this. And uh, to make it 20. Now it's 19. As you can see, that's 19. And then now it's 20. So as you can see, it works very simple. And uh, for Ethos design that has a flaw that um, it will just roll back to the first one and then start counting again. Um, in this design, we didn't have that. So yeah, let me explain how that works first. Before that, I'm going to reset this guy to like so. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to explain how the digital cl clock work. So as you guys know, a dropper, a dropper can actually <coughs> transport items on block um, next to that one as long as it's facing that way. Okay, and uh, you know that the container of this dropper has nine slots, and nine slot corresponds to nine resting signals here, nine resting lamps here, and let's just show you guys how it works. So for one dropper, it is going to let's say. Uh, this redstone starting from this redstone is going to well let me place down redstone lamps first so for the redstone lamps you can just roll like this one two three four five six seven eight nine is that nine yep that's nine okay and then uh when you have that you're going to place blocks like so i think that's true here you go and then just place redstone like so actually just fill up that with blocks anyway um, so any item that does not stack will actually um, well wait a second any item that does not stack will indicate as one stack yeah because they occupy one slot so I'm going to take nine sorts that's three four five six seven eight nine here we go okay so that's nine slots here we go. Nine swords will light up um, the entire row of lamps, but not more. As you can see, if I get this here, it's not going to power that. So that's how it works. Okay. Next thing is um, when you take right, take away one, it's going to be eight. Seven is going to be seven. Six is going to be six. Five is going to be five. And four is going to be four, and so on and so forth. So um, that's the thing that's working. And the next thing you want to know, actually, I need to place it like this way. Okay, now with nine swords here. Yeah, so our uh, ethos design was you can, well, I'm going to use lever here. You can be uh, flicking the lever very fast, and then um, they're going to all go into here, and then when you start counting, you can give signals to here. Like, when I place a button, you press it one time, it's going to be one, two times, it's going to be two, three times, it's going to be three, four times, it's going to be four. Yeah, so that's what's happening there. And, uh, well, as for this design, for Ethos design, if you continue to do this um, until it's going to be nine on that way. When you need to reset this row, you need to pump them back using this way. And they have a time delay 
for each item going from a dropper to another. So uh, you're going to see these dropping down until it ends and start counting once again. So that's going to be pretty much of a problem. That's what I fixed here. Um, you're not going to see them jumping back and uh, start counting once again. So what I what I happen to use here is to actually take signals from two compared I mean from two droppers. Um, yeah, so for example, let me place a lever here. Okay, when this finishes um, the entire row, I'm going to st stop using a signal from here. I'm going to use a signal from here. After I, well, guess, well, let's explain that again. Um, well, when this is 9, and uh, 9 is going to be 9, 9 is not going to be 10, and uh, when you press button once again to uh, add one more number to this row, um, it will actually not use the extracted text signal from this dropper, but use from this dropper, as this is zero, and you don't need to reset it for once more time. That's what's happening here. And I took the signal here and uh, kind of done something like this. Yeah. So that's what I did here, and uh, when you press one more button, it's going to go here, and then it's not not going to be sending signal through this block. It's going to send a signal through this block now. So now, when I start to count it again, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now, after it's nine, I'm going to turn them back to this. This after I press the tenth, after I do this one once more, I'm going to turn the signal back from to here and then delete the signal from there and then I'm going to start <coughs> counting from this side again so you'll see that there's no delay from um, resetting the whole row, the entire row because I'm changing the signal output from one dropper to another dropper so how I do that is pretty tricky as you can see there's quite a lot of things happening here but I think for what's doing, it's already pretty compact. So I'm going to do a little tutorial for that. Let me delete these guys and uh, find a little bit, little bit bigger space to explain how that works to you. Okay, let me take away all these. Okay, let's find a place to do that. So probably I will just um, let me pick up the rest in here. <coughs> I'm going to find a place like here. Okay, let's place down nine lamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. And then you need to place down sense them, actually any blocks like so. I think that's what you're going to do, like so. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so now you need to know you need to place rest on here and then rest on like so. That's how it works. Okay. And then next thing you want to place blocks here two blocks actually here and you need to place a stick piston actually I have one in my hot bar already so you need to place them somewhere like uh, is that here actually it should be here and you're going to place down slime blocks because you're going to switch um, the extraction of the signals so it's going to be like so and then place droppers like so and then you're going to place thoughts here course the first time you're going to add a signal from this block you're going to uh, put a signal into this block and then um, activate this dropper to make this into next dropper and then after this becomes 9 you're going to I mean after this becomes 9 and then you add one more signal it's going to do um, it's going to go through it I mean the signal is going to go through this block and then activate this dropper to go into this one so you actually also need one more stick, uh, stick piece in here in order to change signal from um, here to there and from there to here okay explanation and uh, let's put two uh, rest and repeaters here and then you need to put a repeater here in order to ensure um, the signal is going to be um, monostable circuit so what I'm going to do here is uh, probably like so actually what did I do there okay, that was one more block away so what I did was here and block here 
and uh, this is not going to go here. This line of rest is going to go here, okay? <coughs> so guys, you need a rest in Peter here, you can put a rest in here, 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 or whatever. It's just going to make a more stable circuit anyway. And okay, you're going to make uh, put a rest in here that this piston and this block and stuff makes a uh, monostable circuit, which um, explains as one tick of delay. So when I when I press this button, this is just going to uh, create a very short delay. Here you go. And uh, now what you're going to do is you need to first um, initialize this block um, to be facing into the first hop, uh, first dropper. You can actually do it in the first one, but you need to change this as well. Okay. <coughs> Next thing you want to do is to how do I do that? Okay, and you need to put one resident here and then a block here in order to transmit the resident from here to there. Okay, one more repeater here and then one redstone here and uh, and parita here. Okay, great. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then what you need to do now is to extract a signal from here. Well, I think I did actually here. Let me see. Yep, I did the signal there. Okay, it's going to go through from here to there. So let's say the signal is going to go through from here. Okay, so uh, next thing you need to do is to let me see. I need a signal from here for now. Um, so now it's nine, and let's see a signal. It's going to go somewhere like here. Uh, it's nine, and uh, that's going to be a uh, resonant pizza here. Okay, now let's remove this block. Uh, yeah, for now you're going to actually place a piston here, stick piston here, in order to. Um, well, that's what I did there. Anyway, uh, you place a stick piston here to. Um, actually extend block for this to be 10 before um, this moves okay so next thing you put a rest of here, here here and then a uh, block here and then you can just run this this line of resto to here that's how that works that's how it changes um, the signal input and now I also need to change the signal input for this one which is going to be like so, like so. Okay, now this points into the, this block, which will activate this one with a very short tick. So we would just pull back the thing, and then uh, this block will be here, and this comparator will transmit the signal. But this block will not be here, so the signal from the dropper on the left is not going to be extracted. So that's how it works. Hopefully, I think how. That's going to be all for one level. Hopefully, let me see if that works. So now I'm going to press this button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here you go. As you can see, that worked. And uh, yeah, now block went from here to here, and then the signal was extracted from um, dropper and right now and uh, when you try to press this again it will become one because um, this becomes one because it extracts signal from the dropper on the right so and uh, it also takes the signal through here using the, this slip slime block uh, mechanism here and after I put this to be nine Now it's nine, and uh, now I stand at this little piston here, and I can press this once more to make this block go into here to make the input into the drop on the right, and also extract the output. Start to extract the output from the left one. Okay, so let's see here happening here. Okay, now this block's come here, and this input is going to go into the drop on the right, and the extraction signal is going to be. Um, it's going to extract from the dropper on the left. So that's how it happened. And now you need to do another level of this to indicate uh, the tens digit. So let me put a few more um, resonant lamps here. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing actually. 
you're going to make a kind of like zigzag or snake thing here and you're going to place redstone on top of those there you go and uh, let's see we also need to place a few blocks like so you're going to put a um, piston here and then block here and you're just going to copy the whole thing from uh, below I think that's how it is okay let's do something like this and uh, let's block here and there's a beta here and just extend the line here and do the same thing as the one in the below so do the same thing here actually you need to place redstone on top of these as well to power this piston and also power another piston on the top okay here we go uh, that's going to go like so is that true? yep okay and then you're going to put a piston here that's going to redirect block here and then you need two repeaters to do the input thing to the droppers where's the dropper? Okay, you also need droppers of course and drop is going to face this way and another drop is going to face this way and remove the other droppers now you're going to use any unstackable items you can actually use books or anything that doesn't stack or things with different abilities or, th uh, or stackable items with different names that would work and uh, I'm going to spawn few sorts here is that going to be enough? just enough so here we have nine on this thing and uh, let's put, put a comparator here we're going to put another comparator here as well wait a second that should be a block here and then comparator here facing this block as this is going to be zero and now it's taking the signal from zero one okay uh, and then you are going to put down um, a stone here and a comparator here to remain a signal and then two more blocks redstone and that comparator facing this way okay so am I missing anything? yep I still need to take the signal from here to reset the whole thing when it's the 100th so you need to put <coughs> redstone repeater here and redstone all the way here and after it becomes 9 it would um, it will reset itself so you're going to place block here okay now I think that's all you need to do and there are actually these two layers are not linked yet to make it linked you need to um, direct a resin line here and then you're going to place one more resin here and then just a little repeater here to link that up so I guess when I press this button this is going to work for a low level after it reaches 9 it's going to start to um, initialize for a reset okay now it initialized for a reset and after I press the 10th it's going to reset the first one and then add one to the top one but it didn't work because because I placed the block wrong way I should have placed a block here so let me actually reset everything for now sorry guys for my stupidity let me reset the um, thing down there and also uh, yeah so now it's going to be 9 and actually let me do it um, from the start ok so now everything resets after I put those sorts here ok let's see now I think it's correct hopefully it's not going to go wrong this time ok let's start from the beginning 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight nine and ten yep so here we go you see one is here indicating ten and then after I do it next time it's going to be twenty <coughs> here you go now it's twenty and twenty zero which is I mean two times ten plus a zero which is twenty and then 2 times 10 with 1 is 21 etc so on so forth uh, you can actually uh, do a little clock here the clock needs to well this clock is actually spam, spam proof because there is a more stable circuit creator here 
so let's improve anyway so you can make a little clock here probably I'm going to set this like so and uh, like so so 22 23 24 25 and so on and so forth I'm going to put uh, I'm going to make this a little bit faster okay is that going to be 30 now What's going on here? Oh, okay. I missed it. Okay. Okay. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. And 41, 42, 43, 44. I can actually reset this to be a little bit quicker. Is it going to work? No, it jammed up. Anyway, uh, let me see. Can I do this? Okay, uh, let me put this out, okay, this is 55, 59, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and uh, 70, and uh, yeah, I'm going to stop that in a moment, after it reaches 99, now it's going to be 80 something, 80, 85, 88, now 89, okay, now let me stop this thing. Okay, so as you can see now it is 94 and 94, 95, 96, 97, 98 and 99. So that's um, the actual limit of the two rows. You can actually do the same thing for another row and you can actually do hundreds. And But I think after I do this one they're going to reset both rows, I think that's how it works, but I, I've, added, I've actually didn't test it out yet, but I think um, it's going to reset both rows, and let's see, as you can see, it resets both rows, if I had another level, I'm going to kind of, wait a second, I didn't actually set both rows because I forgot to link these up, but anyway, because um, it's going to happen once only, so that's going to be fine yeah so as you can see that's how it works here you go and uh, wait a second I need to I need to fix this thing okay anyway uh, this needs to go back to here because I forgot to uh, link this thing back okay so anyway this is how this guy works you can like uh, do it once more after this reset it both rows and you can do a clock like so. How did how did I do that? Probably like so. Um, yeah. So I think that's how it's going to work here. As you can see, now it's counting like so. I should have spent a signal a little bit more like so, and uh, a little bit more here probably. Yeah, so I think this is the almost fastest speed you can do with that. Uh, this is pretty fast ready, as you can see. Probably I can. I don't know, is that going to work? I can do this. No, 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 no. I can do this. Uh, like so. Is that going to work? Wait a sec. Not going to work. So I think the fastest speed is going to be like the like so okay anyway so um, now when it goes to 99 I'm just going to do it again because that jammed up the first time anyway um, I say now it's 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 and after that it's going to go back both rows 100 but actually that's zero for now because I didn't link up the third row okay so that's all and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys um, actually understand the concept behind this thing and hope you guys enjoyed this episode or this, um, this video um, concerning the counter improved design of Mr. Ethos one I don't know is that kind of an improved one this is um, still kind of compla complex but if you want a actual clearer design than Ethos one because they have the he has the 
rolling back mechanism happening here. I don't know which would you like more. But hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.